Now, my next guest is best known for her role in EastEnders. Melissa Suffield played Ian Beale's daughter Lucy, do you remember? For six years. What you might not know, though, is during that time she became a victim of bullying and Melissa is with me now. So while we were watching that and thinking, what a great job you've got, that's fantastic, you must be really enjoying it. It was pretty hellish, wasn't it? It can be, yeah. I mean, you go to work and it really is just wonderful mm. and it is the best job on earth. And the troubles are when you're not at work, so... You know, at school, there was a bit of, you know, just people, I think, who didn't understand me at all. Right. It's hard to have, like, a 13-, 14-year-old classmate who has to, you know, gets to miss maths, mm. but to go to work, that's mm. not really something the other kids could deal no, with. And I would imagine there's a bit of envy there, because, you know, what would be? Yeah. I suppose anyone missing maths, there's probably a bit of envy yeah, there. But also, there you are on the telly as well, you know, that, that's the thing. So, what sort of form, I mean, did you, did you find that outside as well? Did that happen to you when you were maybe just going to the shops or you are just trying to live yeah, your life? Yeah, very much so. It was when I was kind of a bit older um, and a bit more targetable. Yeah. Um, and I moved to be close to the studios. I used to walk to and from work, because right. it was literally five minutes. There was no point in getting a taxi. Yeah. And there was kind of a group of girls who used to hang out outside this big supermarket and they were the problem. If mm. they saw me, they would follow me home, just kind of a barrage of abuse, really, it's which awful. was lovely. Um, so, you know, you kind of walk quickly mm. and just get in your house and just think, I really hope they haven't followed me to, front, you know, to my front door. But it was every day they were there. That was kind of, I think, their hangout. But... You know, if they saw me, there was a problem. And if mm. they didn't see me, then I could just kind of slip past. That's awful that you had to put up with that. Did you not tell anybody? The only reason I didn't tell anyone was because I didn't think it would do any good. Mm. Because I didn't know who these girls were. And I didn't know how to get hold of them or anything. So, mm -hmm. you know, while I would have had the full support of EastEnders oh, and yes, of my family mm. and of my friends and anyone who I told, support wasn't what mm. I needed. I needed it mm. solved, essentially. And it yeah. couldn't be done. So I just had mm. to kind of deal with it and you know like I even had like a text from my dad a couple of days ago just going oh my god why don't you tell me mm. it's like I didn't you know I didn't feel like it would solve it god that's really no it's very very hard for you to deal with that and then of course you had as everybody does you get this a sort of wild child label strung yeah. around your neck don't you you get yeah. all of that going on as well that does make it a bit harder as well like yeah. you know on the internet now there's people calling me you know fat this fat that and you just Oh, that's Thanks, guys. fat. There's nothing on your <laughs> tiny, you. absolutely tiny um, thing. But people will just pick on something so stupid. You know that that's the trouble. Yeah, and they but they kind of because you know you're on Twitter or mm. because they've seen you on telly, they really do assume that they know who you are and what you're about. And mm. I love Twitter, but what I oh, don't love is that no, there's a I dark love free side. speech. Yeah. But I don't like the fact that they have to then go and say it to the person. No. I think that's uncalled for, and I get a lot absolutely. of that. Absolutely, and there is a dark side too, and it's yeah. easy enough to say just block them, but actually you've already read it before you've blocked That's them. The and, it's, and it's and it does hurt. It's it's really horrible. You want now though to move ahead, get your career sorted yes. out, get all of that behind you. So what's next? What's in the future for you? Do you think? Um, well, at the moment I'm buying my first house, so that is an oh, enormous that's a big step deal. For me. That's so a giant big deal. That's kind of what's happening right now. But then uh, I've got quite a few projects lined up actually, but Great. they're kind of. I don't want to jinx them because it's right. either finding funding or other mm. cast members, so they're you know really keeping stern. But at the end of the year, I'm filming a feature film, British feature film. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, that's <laughs> really good. Well, when, when that's all sorted, you need to come back and tell us all about oh, it. Do. Because <laughs> when you think about it, I mean, you've had the best. It's almost like a, it's almost like going to university for a young actress when you yeah. go to EastEnders. <laughs> Definitely, because that, you know it, it, it's all there. You know, yeah. that's where you really learn your craft. So you've done that. You've put the graft in, and you know you beat the bullies. You're sitting here looking yes. gorgeous, <laughs> and you know where are they? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Probably still outside the supermarket. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, Melissa. Lovely to see you and good luck with everything that you do. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you so, so much. Right after the break, former Glamour girl Alicia Duvald.